Lisa Warwick, co-founder of the Property Tribes Forum, and I'm joined by Rob Hubbard, who is a tribal member and also founder of the Northern Property Tribe Networking Event. Rob, welcome. Um, what what made what inspired you to start your own offline networking event? Hi, Vanessa. The main inspiration for starting Northern Property Tribes was um, to replicate the online community offline. As you're well aware, there's lots and lots of property networking um, events around the country on a fairly frequent basis. Mm -hmm. There's plenty around where I'm based, for instance, in West Yorkshire. Um, however, I find that the majority of them have, have a, a sales-based agenda, which is really not what Property Tribes is about. We have a strict no sales policy which is great because people can come and they can feel relaxed and it's you know it's a hundred percent about discussion education and, and networking and um do you think that, that 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 makes it much more realistic in the kind of information that you share about property because there isn't a sales agenda definitely it, uh, people feel relaxed because they go there knowing that they're not going to be sold to there's absolutely no pressure and really it's all about we listen to the, you know, we have a guest speaker, and the guest speaker generally is a profession. There may be a solicitor or a broker or an accountant. However, they're all property investors as well, mm -hmm. and they talk about their story and they share some of the interesting aspects mm -hmm. with the people in the room. And it allows people to open up then, and through open question and answer sessions, people can then ask about their problems or just share little anecdotes. Mm -hmm. And it's a very, very friendly atmosphere. And I've noticed that a lot of the networking events in the UK seem to have this revolving door of all the same speakers. Is one of your sort of agendas to bring in some fresh speakers that you may not see elsewhere? Absolutely, and, and that is getting quite a lot of interest actually. Yeah. I'm, I'm very aware of the, the circuits of, of the, the gurus in the property industry and it seems it's almost a full-time occupation moving around the country and talking to large crowds. Personally, I'd rather get some interesting people who, in there who are actively involved in, in property rather than, let's say, wealth creation or, mm -hmm. or speaking on the circuit. And also, you're um, very much setting yourself up as an ethical deal sourcer. Do you see um, your events as an extension of that in as much as you, you're actually very involved in an offline community, you're very accessible? Um, you, you, you know that you're a real person that people can meet and engage with in person. Absolutely, yes. Um, and I, I try and ensure that um, all of my speakers are ethically minded as well. Um, I get people, invite people to the event from my own network, which is generally for like-minded people. And yeah, it's, it's very important to me, that aspect of it. Do you think that there's a lot of value in a network and will you be encouraging other people to actually start forming their own networks to support them and help them move forwards? Because as we like to say, you know, none of us is as smart as, as all of us. Absolutely, yeah, that's, that's very important. Um, your network, you, if you've got any sort of problem or, or query, you can put that question out to your network and it's amazing how many answers come back and sometimes you're just looking for reassurance you think you know the right idea and speaking to other people because we've all got different experiences in life and in business as well and sometimes just getting that little bit of positive feedback mm -hmm. gives it's a good you, sounding board it, isn't it it is a very good sounding board yes so um, just to finish then where is your event held and is it's it's a monthly event is it it's actually bi-monthly right it's held at the Bridge Inn, which is in Whitwood, Castleford. It's mm. very accessible though, it's just off Junction 32 of the M62 motorway and it's held on the third Wednesday every other month. Brilliant. Well, lots of luck with Northern Property Tribe. Thank and you. It's great that you've shown the initiative and set that up as part of the sort of Property Tribes family. And I would encourage any Property Tribes members who want to set up their own networking events to follow Rod's, Rob's lead. And we would obviously try and support you in setting up a networking event as well, because we've helped helped you as well, haven't we, Rob, have to get indeed, it going? Yeah. So thank you very much, Rob. Good luck with that. Thank you. And um, hope you enjoyed hearing about Northern Property Tribe, a great networking event for people in the North.